Hey everyone. So today, um, as a desert, something different, as a Desert Eagle public service announcement, in a sense, I felt it was my duty to at least try to um, dispel um, any ongoing belief that these are, these inherently jam somehow. Uh, that it's not user error, that it, that it has something to do with um, their particular uh, firearm. And so I thought I'd go over a few things here. Um, so as you can see, with four DEs, and I shoot no less than, I don't know, 150 rounds a month, give or take, but I go every week and I shoot three or four uh, magazines. Um, so. I have a pretty good idea um, if these have an inherent issue with them, um, with the with the guns, with the not necessarily with the design, but if there's little flaws that these always have that that make make them jam. So trust me, um, I I definitely have a, a broad range of examples here to go by in basing my my opinion okay now sure these have issues uh nuances so to speak these uh you know you have the uh you have the uh the when you run hot loads on these that uh you know you may get hit in the face or at least the forehead that kind of goes without saying but if you look at some of my old uh some of my postings uh, I kind of addressed that issue with the uh, with the uh, the gas piston. Uh, it's not a, it doesn't make a jam, but it, yeah, that's the whole thing with the shell hitting you in the face. Uh, that's like a slight design fall. And, and and if you call up Magnum Research, they'll tell you the same thing about the about the piston issue. Anyway, the other thing is, it, yeah, they're the the grip is critical on these. Uh, you know how you how you place your hands um, and all that it's critical or, or it is going to jam um, you know and they'll failure to feed they'll uh, failure to eject you know if you don't if you don't shoot it perfect but that's not the gun's fault it's uh, you you, you kind of should know that going in um, the, the gun is when when used properly uh, really works flawlessly uh, I don't want to say it's user error if you don't, but but you have to you have to shoot it the way they tell you to shoot it. Uh, so with that said, uh, here's a sampling. I, I shot. You, you know, I don't post all my videos. Obviously, I mean, if I'm going to shoot, you know, 150 rounds a month, that's a lot of that's a lot of rounds, and and it's probably boring enough as it is. You know, my videos, but. <laughs> Because, you know, how much can you do with 50 AE videos? Uh, try to infuse some other guns. But but as far as these are concerned, yeah, I, I don't post everyone, obviously. But what I did was, um, seeing how I probably have too much time on my hands, here's a uh, sampling of uh, about a five-month period. I grabbed some videos. Um, you'll probably see each one of these guns in one place or the other. Uh, it, it's roughly, I mean, I wouldn't count them, but upon a quick count, I, I think it's about 16 mags, maybe 16 magazines. And, uh, you know, which equates to well, over hundred rounds, 115 rounds, 112, 115 rounds, um, with zero jams, uh, you know, just seven, seven rounds, boom, done seven rounds, boom, done. So it, it's kind of you know people who say they jam and it's the gun's fault it, it reminds me of you know the proverbial uh wrap your um golf club around a tree because you keep slicing it so you know, it's got to be the club's fault uh kind of like that so anyway here's a sampling uh zero jams uh just over this period of five months again it's not all the rounds i shoot um but if nothing else, it's uh, it's probably well, it might be entertaining for you if nothing else. If you're into these, if you're not, well, you probably won't even get through the the entire video. But that's it.
going to lunch. Yeah. Bulletin's okay? Yeah.